real quick. So somebody interested in what I was talking about, about more BL, more windings in the gap. They found this video from uh, Spark Dead. And again, I don't know why he does this goofy character, but you know, good for him. He's got uh, 41,000 views and 44,000 followers. So good for you, good job. So the information that he does right here on this diagram is wrong, is incorrect. But I don't, I don't think he realizes it, which is fine. I'm not going to call him names. So when you wire them in series, uh, it, it acts as one unit. So the same thing happens with capacitors uh, and, and batteries. You wire them in series, they're, they're a unit. And then that's why you wire them in series parallel. So each unit is good for a certain voltage. In this case, he's comparing 1 ohm to 1 ohm. And the power ends up being the same, which is 100 volts, uh, whatever that equals out to watts, 50 amps. The, the coil still receives the same amount of current. Now, there's a couple things that he got wrong, which was that he said when it's uh, when they're in series, there gains more heat. That is not true because the load is the same. Now, he might be talking about something else, but the other thing is um, the in a toaster oven, I don't want to say he's correct, but that might be true. Uh, the, 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 the current versus the voltage. But again... Whether this is a dual two wired in parallel or dual half wired in series, it's going to receive the same amount of power. So there, there shouldn't be any uh, performance difference with exception of this is not a toaster oven. This is a subwoofer. And so he's not accounting for BL. BL is the flux, right? The, the magnetic force plus L. L is the length of wire. And it's divided in uh, to, they just call it L as in length of wire. So, but you don't calculate it in length, you calculate it in number of turns. So how many number of turns are in the gap? So if you have a uh, dual two, let's say it's um, 200 windings total, if you wire it in series, you wire it in parallel, so you're down to 100 uh, windings in the gap. And let's say you, let's here, I'll, 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 I'll use a real life example, which is the, um, let's see if he still has it. Uh, Lord of Base. So I don't use these coils anymore because I saw a huge difference in BL drop. Um, is it? Let me see. This is a turd. Um, this one. This is a turd. Okay. So I only recommend that if you're running something half an ohm and you want it run it in series or something like that. But even that, it's, um, I only made four of those and I think I used like the Cylon motor and there was a huge difference in lack of windings, even in series, so that it ends up being a half ohm load. And then we had another one that was also wired, hardwired in series. The performance was hugely decreased. Now, the one of the problems that I have with Ed's video is that his name? I don't even know his name. Uh, Ed Lester, that's right, his name is Ed Lester. Let's see, no porn, where to go? Don't be porn, there we go. So uh, uh, one of the things that he doesn't talk about is uh, of course BL and the number of windings in the gap. Shit, there was another one, fuck. I gotta pause this, hang on. Okay, I remember what it was. So the example that he gives in the, in the beginning of the video is that how he wired them in parallel and his system got louder. That is what's called anecdotal truth meaning for him in that situation that was true and it, and if you do it it could be true too but not in the way that you think it is all I did was drop the impedance on the amp and so if you account for something like rise it's not really the DCR so let's say he drops down to half an ohm and his system seems to be okay with it again SPL and burps is different than daily okay um, but uh, but yeah, the other, the, yeah, anecdotal, if, if you just have your subs, like say dual twos, like both subs are dual two and you wire them in series and then parallel, uh, and you end up with a two ohm load and then you wire them all in parallel, yeah, of course your system's gonna be louder. Um, because you didn't account for the gain matching at the amplifier, okay? So if you, um, let's see, how do I say this? I think I talked about this with uh, Orion and I still haven't found that literature um, about where they wire them in parallel and the, they put the sensitivity number at uh, 92 dB and then they wired them in series and put the sensitivity number at like 89. So then 
you think that, oh, I should wire them in parallel so they're more sensitive. The problem is, is the test needs to be done uh, more accurately in that when you drop the impedance like that, you have to make sure that you measure that you're still getting the 2.83 volts, which is roughly equivalent to one watt. Uh, 2.83 volts. Now, if you if you wire them in series and you calculate 2.83 volts, right, then, and you measure, you go, okay, the sensitivity is whatever, it's 89. Uh, and then if you wire in parallel, you have to go back and measure your voltage and it should be 2.83 volts. It's not going to be because now you've wired them in parallel and now you're drawing like what, twice, twice the current, three times, four times the current. So of course it's gonna appear louder when you're miking it because you didn't adjust the gain on the amp to equal 2.83 volts when you're testing, okay? So um, again, you wanna look at number of windings in the gap um, and also uh, how strong the motor is. That's how you make it loud. So, and then if you wanna do SPL again, that's a whole other thing. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll do another video, even though I did a video about it. Um, you, guys, you, guys, you guys need to go back and watch my old videos. Um, don't do it as a chore. Hopefully every video I make is fucking entertaining and you guys can enjoy stuff. So, but I just wanted to bring that up because somebody had posted this and, and I was like, wow, this would be great if I was wrong. Like that would be great, but I'm not. So that's fine. Um, Ed is wrong and he misunderstands it. And there's a bunch of other things that he's not addressing, which is number one, he's not addressing rise. Number two, he's not addressing the gain. And three, he's he's misunderstanding the, the heat uh, equation on current versus voltage. Again, which is which is fine. It's not a big deal. The only thing you have to worry about, as far as um, uh, heat goes in a, a loudspeaker, is compression. But that gets into something else about the way that the magnetics are affected by heat. It has nothing to do with the coil or series or parallel. So, anyways, I love you guys. Bye.